breaking all outdoor erupts after sick liberal mayor brought soldiers in to fight Trump's feds. Gun controlled Chicago surpassed 600 homicides for each of the past two consecutive years. The city first surpassed 600 homicides last year in 2016, ending the year with nearly 800 dead and some 4,400 shooting victims. That was an increase of more than 287 homicides and an increase of nearly 1,500 shooting victims from 2015. 2017 has seen a decrease in homicides in Chicago with 658 homicides for the year to date with a total of 3,471 shooting victims, but the year is not over yet. Chicago has also long been known for having some of the strictest gun control laws in the nation. The city banned handgun ownership in 1982 and over the next 10 years witnessed a 41% spike in the number of murders. This is as compared to an 18% increase across the entire United States. The Chicago Tribune even noted the complete failure of the policy going on to make note that the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. also tried a very similar policy outlawing handgun ownership in 1976. The city then, in turn, saw the number of homicides rise by an exponential 156 percent during a time when the nation as a whole saw an increase of just 32 percent giving D.C. the dubious distinction of vying for the title of murder capital of America. And why shouldn't such a ban lead to an increase in murder? After all, when bans are enacted, only the criminals remain armed. It is a fact that has been proven time and time and time again. Yet Chicago persists. The handgun ban was overturned in 2010 by the Supreme Court in McDonald v. Chicago much as the 2008 District of Columbia v. Heller did in Washington. And again in both cities city leaders rather than serving the people that elected them have diligently worked to preserve the ban at every single turn. The ban was overturned in 2010 via the Supreme Court ruling in McDonald v. Chicago, but city leaders have worked diligently to preserve the vestiges of the ban at every turn. Both municipal and county limits on the number of gun stores allowed in Chicago, together with rules on the locations of those stores and a ridiculous amount of regulation on acquiring and carrying guns for self-defense have coalesced to guarantee that criminals maintain an advantage similar to what they enjoyed while the ban was in place. The result of Chicago gun control is bloody and evident with the Chicago police unsuccessful thus far in showing any demonstrable progress in reducing crime. Yet rather than allowing the city to arm themselves to fight back against the violence that is slaughtering the good citizens of Chicago caught in the crossfire or holding those that commit crimes justly accountable for their actions, Cook County Commissioner Richard Boykin is proposing this preposterous plan to seek international help by appealing to the United Nations to meet with minority communities. He flew to New York on Thursday to discuss what he described as a quiet genocide in Chicago's black community with the UN's Assistant Secretary General for Peacebuilding Support, Oscar Fernandez Trunco.